grinding, I just put on the masking tape and I'm just cutting off the excess a little bit. It's just to keep the blade safe. Johanne! Just to keep the blade safe and while we are now welding on the piece on the tank that I mentioned in episode number one to yeah, have a longer tank to later drill through. And while I'm cutting away this stuff, it's a perfect opportunity to thank today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is, for all you knife makers out there, a very, very nice tool. This sponsor helps you and for a nice convex shaped grind and it's also a really really nice tool that I personally love to use. Small disclaimer, he's not paying me. I don't get money from this. I just really like his tools and also he sent me a spare belt because my first belt I freaked up and I, I broke it and he sent me free replacement parts so thank you Alex. The tool that I'm talking about is this rotary plate and as you can see it's a rubber plated multi-wheel grinding attachment for your belt grinder that you just clamped in here. You have different surfaces like big one and even smaller one and depending on which one you take you have more flexibility on the big one and of course more stiffness on the smaller one. Yeah, I said stiffness. When you watch my other videos, you can see in the background, it's pretty much always mounted on our belt grinders because you can do repeatedly the same convex grinds. It's pretty easy to finish blades with. And also you can adjust the stiffness just by this little screw right here. So you can make it stiffer or less stiff. See, pretty easy to attach to the belt grinder. It's really nice to work with and you can get a nicer, even finish than with a normal belt grinder with a big flat platen. Also for convex grinds, it's the ultimate tool. So everybody who's like to do kitchen knives or big hunting knives with convex grinds, this is the tool you want to use for. This is the tool you really need. And you can write him an email on rotary at hnschl.at or on his Instagram and Facebook that I link in the bio below. And what he also mentioned is, with this grinding tool, in comparison to a grinding wheel, it doesn't hurt as bad to get your pee, -pee stuck in it.
You need to know as a knife maker, the biggest flex is not who has the biggest power hammer, who has the biggest anvils, who has the best and most grinding machines. It's sometimes just having a, a fine working room with uh, and freaking AC in the summer. I freaking love it. So we are finally finished with the grinding. I welded the tang, uh, like I said in the first episode, to the tang. Finished uh, welding and grinding the tang back in shape. What's very important now is to soften this part because it gets stress fractures uh, or it's under stress from welding. So we soften this now with my little torch. And after that, there's my most favorite part of knife making, hand sanding. My most favorite part. But there's a small little trick that makes hand sending easier. Red Bull. Red Bull, please sponsor us. Please. It's a few days later now and I have finished polishing this blade uh, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's a nice surface, it's nice and clean, no more scratches, nice and even set and finish. I'm pretty happy with that. So it's now time for the last step on the blade, time for the edge. edge and after the polishing of the blade the really nice pattern is now revealed the only thing we need to do now is give it a little oil wipe it down and this is pretty much the last step that we have to do before sharpening right at the end of the knife that we have to do for the blade and now the next parts will be fitting the guard, fitting the handle, and this is in the next video. And now to celebrate this awesome pattern, it's time for a good break. Cheers. <laughs>